John's gospel, the best of the gospels, John talks about the Passover a number of times. And in each time the Passover is mentioned, something miraculous happens with Jesus. He turns water into wine. He has his feet anointed. He cleanses the temple. He washes the disciples' feet. And he talks about raising Lazarus from the dead. All of these things, miraculous signs that point to who Jesus is, not only as Savior, not only as Messiah, but also as the Passover, the Pascha, the Passover lamb that all that Jesus does in all of his life points to this one thing, his sacrifice for you. And John then takes this life of Jesus, takes all of these happenings and experiences and miracles and signs, and he lays them out in his gospel in a way that they all point back to Jesus as the sacrifice for you. The very first Passover, the angel of death passes over the Israelites' homes because they had painted the blood on the doorposts, saved from death by the blood. And so Jesus, when he comes, not only does he save us by his blood, but he prepares a place for us in eternity so that his coming, his life, death, and resurrection again for us point to that new creation, to the place prepared, to the wedding feast with no end, to uh, referencing as well the feeding of the 5,000, which happens when John says the Passover was near and the people sit down where there is much grass, which reminds us of Psalm 23, where the Lord makes us to lie down in green pastures. All of these things, signs, glorious miracles, images, and reminders that Jesus is for you. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give, help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.